uh, guys, so basically we're going to be making this, well, well not exactly this, but something like this, a, a boss battle, should I say. And um, basically, like, this took us, how long were we up last night? Uh, six hours. Six hours. I think you, if, <coughs> if you're going to put the vlog up, then probably have probably watched that as well. Yeah. That's just us walking through this. And it, we finally perfected it. It took ages. Oh god, laser. So basically we're showing you a different way of making different attacks, different uh like stages and stages. Boss. And this is quite a simple way of doing that. Yeah. And basically what this boss is how, how you do it, you just gotta grab its weak point at the bottom constantly. But we've also made it so that there we go. One thousand points for destroying it. And happy music. And then change your music. So yeah, that's the boss. So let's go through the tweet. Let's go through how we made it. Alright. So, so this was basically just our battlefield. Yeah. First of all, you need to make a stage or some place area where, where a, the a large can... area where your uh, object can be found. I guess. Right. Well, you know. And so this was our design: a giant chicken head robot thing. So that's what the uh, levels mainly about. To be honest, not yeah. a giant chicken it was head. Just, it was just like a giant sky level, so we thought we'd have a chicken head yeah. as a boss. Um, a lot of logic getting into this. Christ, a lot of logic, yeah. Yeah. Right, so basically what we did... No, we, want, we want this glass. Oh, because it's a full thing, I think. Don't know what that's doing here. Yeah. Anyway, we got to that. We, that part doesn't need to be there, that's no, just no. decoration. Yeah. So here was a sackbot that we had, and a controllinator. There's the sackbot's wiring, there's the controllinator wiring. So what we did to make this really simple boss, we made basically a vehicle. Like we made this entire boss a vehicle, yeah. And assigned different stuff to its uh, like, move, like a mover, so it can move around. Uh, different sounds, uh, different uh, stages, such as this. This is uh, I think this is the targeter. And this is I when it so. roars. Wait, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, so, yeah. And what we did, we got the behaviour of the sackbot and made different stages all in one. Now we tried to do this in different um, stages of the sackbot, and you can do that, but for some reason we were working with it, and I think some wires must have crossed or something. Something was going wrong yeah. constantly, which is why it took about six hours. Yeah. And then, <laughs> I'm sorry, you might think I'm a bit lazy voice here. It's just because I'm a bit tired. We're just we're, waking we're up, up, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. 11 o'clock in the morning, up until like 1 o'clock doing yeah, so this. Yeah. So yeah, what we did, we just did the behaviour. And so, uh, oh, I'm doing it again. I'm, I can't remember how it is. Here we go. And basically what we did, we got uh, acting and we recorded what we want him to do. So like we made him go left, right, up, uh, well, we only made it so that the yeah, so creature can, can go, go left, left and, and right, right, so we don't get any um, thing confused. Like shoot lasers, uh, and then we did this um, special unique thing, which was good if the it's like to warn the player. It roars so that it can target things. I'll do it again. See the target. And you can shoot lasers. Can shoot lasers. These yeah. are all just assigned to different buttons. And then that's basically how you make. That's basically how you make it. That was, that was how we made it, yeah. And obviously, like, um, for your boss battle, all you need is a really complicated vehicle with different, like, attacks and beams and different settings sort of thing. Yeah. You can make it as complicated as you want, but you will need to have to assign it to a controller and to a sack person. Now, what we did, one thing that we, um, did wrong at the beginning, we had it set to uncontrollinator, where there is so that he's out of there. Yeah. So we had just had that and we, rec we went to record, we went like this, we tried to do this. Make we sure made him jump in and then we did that. Make sure you have then, the control then we it. Make sure you have the control on on first and stuff. Yeah. But this is what happened, right? Even though we had done that, he would only do this, he'd only move side to side and he would not enter the control Yeah. Now, Now, if, if, in order to get him to enter the control nator, you have to set the control nator to go to the trigger and automatically enter. 
so he's already like that. And then he should move around. Yeah, yeah. There we go. You've instantly got a boss. Um, be the best thing to do is just go through what you actually need. So all the different logic buttons you need. Yeah, and the good thing for a boss is you've got to always give like give the player a general area to look for. Like we've made this. This is just a holographic piece over a bit of sponge. Yeah. So just so like the player can realise that's what you've got to hit. And always make sure that you can that um when they hit the weak spot to give them points so they know that they're doing it right. Mate, yeah, so you have score givers and stuff like that. And, and then, one good thing to remember is always think about how you can use sounds and movement to make the boss stand mm. out a bit more. Yeah. Like when let me see. When I went to you know, that's control here. When I went to like start like a next sort of phase of attacks, I'd always go and roar so like it's a signal. Or something like that. And then you'd start a new attack. Like that. Like that's basically all of the attacks that we gave it just because we didn't want it to become too complicated. And because uh yeah. This is but the main point is, um, any boss, you can give any boss any sort of weakness. What we did is we tried to go a little different, besides like shooting it or whatever, we made it grapplable. We made the weakness, you have to grapple it. Yeah, with the uh, grapple hook. Yeah. And an interesting thing to know about the grapple, I'll quickly set up a quick crappy dark matter platform so people can see what we're doing. Uh, we go. Six hours and we had to, to figure this out, so you best use this. <laughs> <laughs> Six hours of our lives. Uh, we had fun though. We, we it were was fun. fun. It was. It was pretty funny as well. Right, so, so then like, uh, his weakness was the grapple. So we always had the grapple hook throughout the level, so that people knew that they had to use it. So dodge that. See. Always think ahead with your attacks, and then there you go, plus a thousand. I like how his beak doesn't destroy. Mm. <laughs> and then that's another thing we've done, but when you destroy it, the music changes from him from, uh, hev from like a uh, boss battle music to so a happy song, happy. Or something good. Or and another tip: always like try and make it more difficult for the player to achieve the attack. Like here, when we made it grab, it would that this sequencer would then make it go plasma, so you could not grab it for a little while, and then would extinguish it. Sort of. Yeah. And it's good to have. This is such a simple logic. Just put a lethalizer, then put a. a yeah, put two lethalizers in. Or I think you could just have one and wait until it. Yeah, you could. Passes have one. it. It yeah. just passes over it and then it finishes, I think. So you could just have one and it with a plasma. Always put the battery in the repeat section so that it's always reset it to the first bit every time you grab yeah. it. Otherwise it will just keep going and it will keep lethalizing and lethalizing and lethalizing and lethalizing. And it's just a terrible uh, way to use it. And also, uh, you can use the brains, but uh, if you construct it in the right way, you can just leave it as and it can just destroy it by itself. But you've always got to make sure, I don't know what went wrong last time, something... We'd already built it and we were trying to make it destroy and something went there. Yeah. <laughs> and another thing is the eyes. Like here's a clever thing you can do. They can be closed until you activate them. So I'll make it. I'll pull this guy down here so you can see what's happening. If it'll let me. So then, like when I stand here, the eye will open. Notice how the eye opens. Just like adds a little more effect. To it. Yeah, just adds it to. Like and so yeah, that's our basic idea for a boss battle, I guess. Um, if you do need any help, then just message us, comment, private message, or even add us on PS3 and ask us. We'll probably run through it again. Should they see the level? Should they? Would they like to see the level? I wonder. Yeah, if they want. Yeah, we'll show them. The this level. is generally what we did. This, this I is guess the, this is like how we set the, the person up to use the um how to f defeat the boss. Yeah, this is how we. This is the level where, which is why us to make the boss. Yeah. This is, I built this in Little Planet One, and yeah, I have you published it. it yet? Oh God, no! I haven't. I haven't finished this thing yet. The boss so, battle. The, I've well, the boss. Oh crap! <laughs> no.
If I can swing. Dead already. Way scared. Fair enough. So yeah, this level hasn't been published yet, but it's gonna if, be. If cool. you wanted us to, then we could arrange that pretty yeah. easily. So what we just did is we had to make the use realize that he's gonna have to use the grappling hook a lot. Yeah. So, so we, like every different obstacle, and uh, well, most of them, you need the grappling hook to continue. We also made chickens. Be just happy. to put it into that. It's <laughs> just like throw that into the mix. They're like, oh, there's chickens here, and then. Here's another thing, cutscenes always make everything good, and we, we're hoping to make a cutscene for our boss, but this is one of mine. Hopefully it'll work. Yeah. Way. No. Nope. Not dying, I'm gonna ace this. Even though I haven't put the scoreboard in yet. I don't have an idea. No. I'll just die. I'll just die, I'm done with trying that. But yeah, this is just general wandering. Make some interesting sections. Cutscene cameras are so oh, no. so unhelpful. Help me. Can you jump up? Oh, it's too steep. And they can't see me through the glass. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you get the general idea. Set them up for what they need to do later for the boss yeah, battle. Yeah, just don't make a boss and look. You got like an Egypt level. Oh, what? don't make. I'm it. guessing something's going wrong. With that. English boss. English boss. In an Egyptian level. Good thing to do is, uh, if you're going to just do a boss battle, like one big level of a boss just, battle, yeah. then always do that thing that we did with the holographic. Either make them like time spawn. Or, oh, it's, it's helpless. Okay. You have a go. You have a go. Right. Daniel's in control now. This is an awkward bit because if you have to go like dead on for it to actually ping you, I was we've done it before. We've done it plenty of times before. Me and Daniel have done it on two player. Oh crap! <laughs> Too far. Uh, oh, that's enough. You won't be able to time. Oh! <laughs> oh, sick! Oh, you can probably. Oh, <laughs> you, you swung into like a little crack, I guess. Ah, uh, that's not fair. That was sick. That was a sick. One. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That usually works a lot better. I guess I was just failing. It is early in the morning, like you said. We've just turned this on. This this was sort of like, even though I'd made this in Little Planet, I tried to use everything for Little Planet 2. Like it had, um, I tried to do all the cutscenes and the controllinator and grapple hook. Like, here's a cutscene. Here's a cutscene here that Nara made. This, this is, is really, really simple. This is leading up to the boss battle. You have to help me. Poor little chicken guy. I guess this is also like a level and boss tutorial. I guess always yeah. make always make things interesting. Always put loads of points out for people to get high scores with, and always make things. Uh, always put mechanical things, in, even if it doesn't need it, sort of thing. Just make things more interesting. Oh, you, you jump really high. Though. I'm yeah, guessing gravity's the, still. Gravity's still a bit oh, odd. Crap. <laughs> Don't know why. This level is unfinished yet, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Grapple. Hopefully these balloons should disappear when you burst the boss battle. Yep, there he goes. And I still think this is a bit odd because I think the boss is still at a level and the it's out of plasma place. Yeah, the plasmas don't kill you yet. It's still on the wrong lit layer, so. Yeah, when we're saying like make an opportunity, see how I can't grab. Yeah. When the uh, plasma's there. This is a good test, actually. So. Just just imagine that the fire's on the same level as Daniel, and it's burning him like hell. Ah. <laughs> this is a very bad example, but yeah. Oh, no. Notice how every single attack awards him ten points. This was, even though this was really simple in the end. Yeah. And I think I might give this another try with a different boss when I get the game. If you do make um, a boss, tell us and we'll come review it and so we'll put it on our channel. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah, that's basically it. There we go. Gigantic explosion. And happy music. 
and then nothing really happens. Oh, put Clive on. I want Clive. Anyway, that's basically mm. it. Nice um. red screen. Mm. <laughs> oh, it died. <laughs> after that, it still died. So, just muck around, I guess. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you need any help after that, um, just message us. And again, if you have any idea for a tutorial. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've, I've got a idea for next week. So. Oh, do you, man? Yes. So, shush. Sure. Alright, <laughs> then. Good to be good. Cool, cool. Alright. Sorted. Right. Mm. Uh, this has been Danny and Nile. From PSV Gaming Review. Um, we'll see you soon. Bye!